Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on July 19th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, and volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here, always looking at our sun, the last 48 hours on our star, two very bright sunspot regions turning away, and another two developing there. Plasma filaments still dancing around the surface of our star right now. Quite the activity incoming. This is the last 48 hours of imagery on the cresting limb. And turning out, we do have two sunspots turning away and another two getting ready to turn away. And large plasma filament taken off there was not in an earth-facing fashion. Looking at multi-spectrum, you can see all the bright and active regions. Paying particular attention to the darkened regions in the earth-facing disk right now. Two very large coronal holes, one in the northern hemisphere and one just a little bit further south of the equator on the sun. Right there. Those two look to be in pretty intense and elaborate coronal holes. So we are expecting that coronal hole wind stream over the next 24 hours, as it is Earth-facing right now. And we are also expecting quite a geostorm across the planet, as those CMEs that were posted the other day are on their way right now, tonight and into tomorrow. Looking at our solar winds, we're sitting at about 462 kilometers per second right now. Notable here is our radio flux that hopped right up to 152. No major solar flares to talk about overnight. But this really stands out as we jumped up to a KP of 5 in geomagnetic activity. And we are expecting quite an aurora tonight. Look at this for over Canada. Boom. Northern lights and then over Alaska and Europe. Very intense solar radiation. So a very large geostorm is on our doorstep and it's going to be seen in our North Pole as those energies impact our planet more so over Europe and Russia. Looking at telemetry over the real-time solar wind, as I said, we're sitting at about 460 kilometers per second. It's been pretty steady for the past two days. A couple jumps there to over 650 kilometers per second. But notable here is our temperature. That is the green in the bottom. That's been up and up and hopping up over the past 24 hours as we are being bombarded by cosmic rays. Looking at the ISPA space prediction spiral, showing a CME taking off towards Jupiter, or sorry, Venus, taking off towards Venus. Other than that, not much to report. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 41 down from yesterday. It was up to 86. Highly charged day yesterday for the Schumann resonance. So quality of 9.3, amplitude of 41, and a power of 24. Let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as it's quieted down a bit. We're sitting at just 200 earthquakes across the world, according to USGS. We're going to start out here with the largest the last 24 hours of 5.9 yesterday. is Valbard off the coast of Norway, right along the Greenland plate. And then as well, we've got all this activity through Pakistan and up into Turkmenistan. And that continues after seeing a sizable 5.1 yesterday and continues today. So Turkmenistan, a 4.3 and a 4.5. Overlooking the Philippines plate, West Pacific, way too quiet. And as well, the Australian plate into Fiji. 
not much to report there. But this notable earthquake here, 4.7, Pagan region, Marianas Trench, active volcano through the region. Increased seismicity through Pahala and Hawaii. Closer look here, we've got some earthquakes off the coast as well. Sitting at about 19 earthquakes reported across Hawaii. And they've got huge surf warning right now. Looking across the United States, Tom's Place, California, most notable. As well, 4.2 there, Riviera Plate. Minor activity through the Caribbean. South America, seeing some steady action. 4.7 in Peru and southward to the West Chile Rise with a 4.9. And that's it for the past 24 hours. Watch for things to increase over the next 24 to 36 hours as we are being penetrated by solar winds and the incoming geostorm, which could be up to a G2 storm. Level 2 geomagnetic storm. Looking across the world, this is the last seven days for earthquakes. Lots of activity, South America and into the Nazca Plate and Pacific. And as well, interesting action there in the North Pole, the last little bit. And now over to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We've got Shevelich in Russia, Reventador, Sabancaya in Peru, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Nevadas to Chilean, Nevadas to Ruiz, Fuego. As well, Ebico in Russia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 that are active and erupting across the planet, as reported just yesterday in the Volcano Activity Report. One tropical storm to talk about. Estelle is still alive, but not any major threat towards land. Got extreme heat warnings through Manitoba, Saskatchewan. As well, we've got flooding conditions that are developing through China and as well, extreme heat across the Northern Hemisphere right now, indeed. And as well, over Europe, intense and code red situation happening there. Lots of wildfires through Spain and France and just today through London and the United Kingdom. So heads up, stay safe and aware and prepared, everybody. Other than that, not too much to talk about, except for extreme heat conditions, wildfires, and now is some extreme weather as we've got this low pressure system heading up the East Coast, affecting the Canadian Atlantic provinces. Could see some strong winds and some extreme weather with this system here as it focuses its way to the Atlantic, North Atlantic. And then coming tomorrow, we do have an extreme weather event for Ontario as this low pressure system heads in from northern Ontario and tracks eastward and will bubble up some intense supercell action as we are dealing with the extreme heat this cold front will spark things immensely so heads up Ontario extreme weather event on your doorstep <clears throat> coming tomorrow as well we've got this low pressure system heading down Thursday through Manitoba, could send some relief to the wildfires there on the border with Saskatchewan, and another small system there heading through for Friday. Other than that, no major tropical systems developing over the Atlantic, but watch for a big cool down towards Canada anyway, in the long range forecast by Sunday. But it's going to be hot, hot, hot until then. And then we've got some more rain heading in Sunday into Monday next week for Ontario anyway. A little bit of relief coming to United States western parts. Looking at Estelle, as I said, forecast models are not showing any effect to land right now. No major tropical systems developing in the Atlantic, overlooking South America, 
daily evaporation rains in the north, hot and dry through Brazil, Argentina, and then through southern Chile here. Watch for heavy amounts of snow over the next few days as you've got a lot of moisture coming in and forecast for the next few days. A lot of it being snow. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems developing over the next few days. Daily evaporation rains through central regions, and that's about it. And then we get to Europe. Again, no major systems. It's going to be pretty dry throughout this week. And the temperatures. Please, everybody, stay safe. Stay hydrated. Get an air conditioner. If you have not yet, most of these people are not used to these extreme heat temperatures that are popping up across the northern hemisphere especially through parts of Iran look at that much love everybody I hope you enjoyed today's video the daily do here for you keeping humanity aware and prepared if you enjoyed today's video please smash that like button maybe share with a friend much love stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do we'll see you next video Bye-bye now. Much love and prayers for humanity. Bye-bye now. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.